has some Kishi creations and for today we are doing episode 3 of the spin the wheel game guys it's the third series, it's the third episode guys like can you believe it? oh my gosh if you haven't seen the first two episodes then you should definitely go back and watch them you wouldn't want to miss them um, so yeah let's get let's get started with this shall we um, and again just a reminder I, I am recording from my Nokia phone so please um, bear with me if the quality or the lighting dips and the focus dips um, unfortunately with my old Nokia phone um, it does not allow me to focus uh, <laughs> it doesn't allow me to focus um, on a specific area um, so yeah please excuse that um, but yeah, let's let's get started, shall we? So we're gonna jump right into it, and um, yeah, I've got my yarn and everything ready. Um, it's just a matter of spinning the wheel and finding out what we're gonna get. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, I'm gonna record my screen. I'm excited about this, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually really excited. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna record my screen. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Okay. One, two, three, let's go. What is it gonna be? <laughs> and it's the strawberry keychain. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna make a little little mini tiny strawberry keychain for today's video. And yeah, you guys get to watch me make it and suffer through some of the the small challenging bits of it I guess um, okay so let's get started let me whip out my pattern so it was the strawberry pattern um, I did say to remove it right no I didn't okay I need it to be removed so so let me remove um, let me remove uh, the strawberry I forgot to click remove it from the list so let me just get rid of it okay there we go okay this is so exciting guys okay 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 so let me get the pattern out okay so now to get the strawberry keychain out so where are you where are you where are you where are you um Here it is, crochet strawberry keychain. Okay, so I got it out now. I'm gonna get the colors that I need. Okay, so I got my whole my whole drawer full of the yarn that I'll be using. Um, so I'll be using this crochet number no. five weight yarn. Um, so yeah, it is a 50 gram ball. It is. Um, it recommends a two to three millimeter crochet hook. Um, <clears throat> and it is 100% acrylic and it doesn't have any meterage or yardage on here it just says a 500 grams so uh, I'll be using this kind of yarn so I have my little bit of red my white um, my red and my white And then I have two greens here. I have this light green and I have this um, this emerald green. I'm not sure which one I should go for. I'm not sure which one I'd go for, but I think I'm just gonna keep both options here just so that I can choose which one would maybe look better. So yeah, okay, so we've got the yarn. Okay, let me make sure that I'm recording on this phone. Let me maybe close this curtain. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to start recording on this phone. Okay guys, so I'm ready to start now. Um, so I'm just gonna grab my red yarn and I am just gonna start. Okay. And again, I'm using my 0.60 millimeter crochet hook. Oh gosh, this yarn is a bit tangled now. That's fun, this yarn is now deciding to tangle up on me. Um, 
Okay, so now I don't know which one's the right side and which one's... Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I got this now. Okay, so I'm going to put you one side and I'm going to wrap you around the ball. I honestly don't know why. So, <laughs> a couple years back, um, I decided to wind up these um, these little skeins into into little cakes and I took the cardboard insert out and I wound it up into cakes into a cake and I honestly regret it to be honest with you okay so anyway so now to get started okay so I'm going to do six single crochets into the magic ring okay so I need to create my magic ring This is so fiddly. This is gonna be so fiddly, guys. As with all of my videos, or all of <laughs> all of these episodes, they're gonna be quite fiddly. Okay, so again, I'm using my 0.16 millimeter crochet hook for these um, for these episodes or for the spin the wheel game series. Um, okay, so let's get started, shall we? Okay, so I need to do six single crochets. Yeah, so if you guys didn't see the last two episodes, you should go watch them. Really, you should. It has been so much fun doing this, honestly. <clears throat> okay, I think I've got all of my... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it seems like I've got all of them. And now I'm just going to close up my magic ring here. And again, I really do apologize that my camera keeps refocusing. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm not sure when, but at some stage I do need to get a new phone. So yeah, I'm not sure when that's going to be. Um, but yeah, so please bear with me. Yeah, that's the only decent spare phone that I have. So now moving on to the next round. Oh my gosh. I'm like already splitting my yarn. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is not working out. Sure I have the right stitches now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yes. no, no, I don't have six. I've got five. Okay, there. now I have six. Okay, there. Then set into the first stitch. I don't know if I need to zoom you guys more in. There. Okay, I think that can work for now. Okay, so now moving on to the next round, I need to do one single crochet, then an increase to each stitch around, and I'm going to grab my stitch marker. No. Okay, no, I keep losing, losing my hook. now there we go okay okay this is a bit challenging okay so once we crochet into the first stitch and then an increase <clears throat> okay and then once we crochet into the next stitch and then an increase One single crochet into the next stitch and then an increase. Okay, so so far my stitches are right because I've started with one single crochet and then I've ended with an increase. Ah, I'm out of frame. Sorry guys, I didn't realize I was out of frame. 
Maybe I should zoom out a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah. I got a hole of my magic ring. I've got a hole. Oh no. Okay, well, I'm not going to go back and redo that. So, I'm just going to leave it as is. <laughs> hopefully, when I close up my strawberry or when I end it off, hopefully then I will be able to close up that hole if it's not an issue afterwards. Okay, so moving on to the next round. So I need to do one some crochet in the next two stitches. So that's one, two, and then an increase. This is so tricky guys, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually really really tricky. I feel like I've done something wrong here. I really feel like I've done something wrong. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I've got the right amount of stitches from my last round. No! I keep losing my crochet hook. Why can't you just stay in the stitch? Why? Okay. So help me. Come on, crochet hook. Stay in there. While I get my stupid stitch marker in. Is not working with me guys. There we go. Okay, so I've done one and then I need to do another one in the next stitch and then an increase. and then one, two, why, why, there's my stitches wrong here, and then an increase, So now I am supposed to have 12 by the end of this round. Okay, so let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten. I am so confused with what's going on here. I am literally so confused. I'm pretty sure I did. I did. It is so hard to tell. So I did. Wait, did I do an increase into the next stitch? Okay, well then, fine. Wait, 
I'm going to count my stitches again. One, two. This is so tricky. Even counting my stitches is like so challenging. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need 12 stitches. So I'm just going to do an increase into the last stitch. I am sorry, but I am not prepared to frog this. I am not prepared to frog this just to, just to get my stitch count right. So I am just going to do an increase into the last stitch and hopefully that should get my stitch count up to the right number the right stitch count I should say this is gonna be really tiny guys this is gonna be so tiny <laughs> okay and then one single crochet into the next three stitches it's always the beginning part of the project that um, it is always the beginning part of the project that that is always the most challenging I found. Literally, it's like always the most challenging. I don't know if it's just because the, it's just so small and it's hard to find the stitches or to work into the stitches I have no idea okay so that was one two three and an increase see which stitch I did last I feel like I need to have like a magnifying glass attached to my camera not to my camera but like so that I can see like kind of like what I'm doing here so that's one two three and then an increase and then one wait and then an increase so that's there and then one two three Okay, so that was just an increase that last stitch there. Okay, so now I've got that round complete and everything and all of my stitches are in the correct place and all of that. Isn't that just cute? Like, look at how tiny that is. Like, it literally just covers the tip of my finger. I'm gonna be here like the whole day. Okay, so I'm just gonna carry on working up the rest of the strawberry. And yeah, you guys can watch me suffer, I guess. I think that this might even be the smallest keychain that I have made thus far. I honestly think so. At the rate that this is going, all the way this is looking, I honestly think that this might might very well be the smallest, the smallest keychain that I would have made, I think, in this series so far uh, so that's three okay i need to stop talking because i will lose my 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 stitch count here one two three four five Okay. 
This is like a little thimble, like look at that. It's actually just covering my, the tip of my finger. <laughs> <clears throat> this is so crazy. I only just finished round six of the increases and there's nine rounds of increases. <clears throat> so this is actually gonna be quite tiny. If I do say so myself, this is gonna be so flippin' tiny. At the rate I'm going here, I actually kind of feel like this may possibly be the quickest and smallest keychain that I've done on this series so far. I think so because I'm like almost finished the strawberry. Um, I'm like almost finished with the um, with the increasing rose. And then it's just a matter of like closing off the strawberry, doing the leaf, and then also adding the spots or the, the, the lines, the seeds. And um, yeah, uh, this is probably, this is probably gonna be the most fastest, like quickest keychain that I've made on this series so far. But let's see. So far I've been recording for half an hour. The others I think I've recorded for like an hour and a half or something. So we'll see, okay, one, two, three, four. Well, technically I've only been crocheting for like 20 minutes. My hand is starting to cramp, I'm not gonna lie. It's like actually starting to get sore like right here. Um, yeah, I think it's because it's like I'm trying like really hard to like grip this properly. I don't want you to be full. Okay, and now I'm on to the last increase round. Yeah, I'm literally on the last increase round and then I do one increase into each stitch around for four rounds. Okay, so that's one. Okay, so now I have finished um, doing all of my increase rounds and actually on the fifth round or, or the, the eighth round, sorry, on the last round of the increases, I actually noticed that I wasn't ending off on, on an increase. And when I counted my stitches, I actually noticed that I had placed the first set of increases in the wrong place. Uh, so yeah, I hope it, it hasn't messed up my, my stitch count. It should be okay now because I redid the eighth row and everything seemed to have been in place correctly. But yeah, check out how like weirdly shaped it is now. Yeah, check out how like weirdly shaped it is now. Okay, so let's continue. Yeah, so now moving on to the, the next three, four rounds, from round 10, 10 to round 13. We're just gonna place one single crochet into each stitch around now. Okay, so, oh. let's continue with this, shall we? <laughs>
for some reason this crocheting around around the strawberry with no increases or decreases for some reason this feels like it's taking forever whereas with doing the increases it felt like that it was going much quicker much quicker if it makes any sense I don't know why but this just feels like it's going so slow now I think this is only my second increase round I think I believe it's my no, I've actually done my this is on my third one now actually but it still feels like it's going like so slow not sure why but yeah it feels like it's going really really slow now Yeah, maybe, maybe um, this will take just as long as the other keychains that I've done so far for this series. Um, yeah, at the rate that I'm going with this. Okay, so now I'm going to start decreasing now, so I've just finished those four rounds um, of no increases or decreases, so now I'm going to start decreasing now. Um, I think this is also going to be one of the challenging parts, is decreasing, so, gosh, okay. Sorry guys, my, my camera actually um, uh, stopped recording there for a minute, not sure why, but yeah, it stopped recording. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm almost finished now. Um, I have one more decrease round, but I think I need to stuff now because <laughs> look at look at how tiny this thing is, look at that. Look at how tiny this is. Okay, yeah, so I think I'm just going to stuff now. stuffing here and now I'm gonna start stuffing this thing okay this is like so tiny guys honestly this is like super cute and also this phone my webcam or my yeah my webcam camera it is going to die soon so I'm gonna try and finish up the strawberry, not the strawberry, I'm gonna try and finish up the actual, like the red part of the strawberry um, before the, the, my phone dies and then um, yeah, then I'm probably gonna have to charge it for a bit um, until, yeah, until I can resume the, the strawberry. So yeah, okay. I think that is like more than enough actually. I think that's like too much. Okay, so 
thickener. I think that's okay for now. I can always stuff again later. Okay, so now I'm going to do my last decrease round. Sorry, not my last decrease round. I actually have three more decrease rounds to close up this, um, uh, what do you call it? This strawberry that I had. Um, one more decrease round to stuff. So I think I was just getting a bit confused. What did I do with my stitch marker? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I lost my stitch marker for a minute. Yeah. Now the tricky part is not getting the stuffing caught in my stitches. That's another challenge to this now. Now this is when it's going to start getting really, really tricky. This is when it's going to start getting really, really tricky with trying to decrease and crochet this thing closed. Okay guys, so unfortunately my other camera, um, the, what would you call it, the device got full and yeah, it, it stopped recording and now for some reason I'm having trouble uh, transferring the files onto my laptop. So um, hopefully this thing won't give me issues later when I need to edit. Um, when I need to edit the video um, I don't know why all of a sudden this is happening um, I, my phone did not give me any issues the last time I literally just plugged my phone into my computer and transferred the files over um, so yeah I am not sure what's happening with my phone this time so I don't know what's gonna happen um, with that um, I really hope that I'll be able to salvage those um, those photos that, or the videos that I took, um, for this series, or for this episode, I should say. Um, so, yeah, um, apologies about that, guys. Um, yeah, for now, you'll just have to watch my hands and what I'm doing with my hands for the time being. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with this phone over here now. I just hope it's not going to give me any problems later down the line when I need to... Um, what would you call it? When I need to transfer the files to actually start editing the video. Because then I'm going to have a problem. So, yeah. So now I have one last uh, decrease round now, so now I just need to close up this hole now and I'm probably going to have to go in with my needle and neaten up some of these stitches because <laughs> um, yeah I didn't, my tension was a bit loose with some of these stitches so now I have like kind of like a little bit of holes in my work so yeah now I need to go back and finish or oh, neaten that up I should say. Maybe before I close this, maybe I should just take a little bit more stuffing and stuff this. Yeah, there we go. I think that's okay now. 
yeah so now i'm just going to continue closing up this hole I think that's fine okay so now I can end off so I can grab my scissors and leave a little bit of a tail and just pull up and out and then I can weave in my tail in and close up this hole So that is the actual strawberry part of it finished. Um, I now need to do the the leaf and sew on the the seeds. Oh my gosh, guys! Isn't that just cute? Like, look at how tiny that is. This is actually about the size of a Hershey's chocolate kisses. Actually, now looking at it now, that does actually kind of look like one, doesn't it? Just a little bit. If the bottom was like a little bit more flat, oops. <laughs> if the bottom was like a little bit more flat like that, then I would say it's like a Hershey's Kisses chocolate. But it actually looks quite cool, don't you think? Yeah, now I need to do the leaves. Okay, guys. So I finally managed to come back, and I finally managed to get my um, my camera working here, my webcam camera. So yeah, it was just the connection was faulty. I mean, it is an old phone and, and an old charger. Um, so yeah, I finally got it working. Thank the Lord. Um, so yeah, let's get on with this now, shall we? Let's finish this. Yeah, so now I'm gonna crochet the leaf of the strawberry on now. Um, so I've decided to go with this, um, this lime green, this light green. Um, I think it'll just look so much better in my opinion. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that now. So I'm gonna start off by making um, or by putting six single crochets into a magic ring. I just like literally just knocked my strawberry out of and I messed up my magic ring. Okay, so let me do that again. So now I need to do six single crochets in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then pull my tail in closed. And then I need to slip stitch to join. So I need to find my first stitch and my tail end is getting in my way. My tail end is getting in my way here, guys. Okay, so now I'm gonna slip stitch to that beginning stitch. Okay, and then I'm going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four. Is it chain four? chain four and then one single crochet in the second chain from hook Okay guys, so now I have completed um, the little uh, leaf and uh, this is what it looks like, isn't it just so cute? Let's grab the strawberry. Oh my gosh, look at that, that is so adorable. I feel like this could actually be earrings, in all honesty. Okay, so I'm gonna snip my thread here now and I'm gonna sew, um, sew the leaves onto, onto the strawberry. Come on now. Here we go. 
Okay, I'm just gonna snip off this tail end here from the center. Okay, so now I'm just gonna quickly sew this down. And I feel like this is gonna be quite tricky. Okay, so let me just zoom in here. Okay, so now I'm just gonna sew this down quickly. So I'm just gonna place it on top, kind of like in the center, and then just sew down into the strawberry. And then back up into the leaf. now I am finished uh, sewing the leaf on so now I am just gonna quickly um, just do the uh, do the what would you call it sew the seeds on okay, I think that's looking quite cute don't you think okay guys so now I'm going to start adding the the, uh, the seeds onto the strawberry and this is what it's looking like so far guys isn't it just so cute like look at this thing it's so cute. It is so so adorable actually. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Like look at that. Look at that. Okay, so now I'm gonna start sewing on the I'm going to start sewing on the seeds. So I'm just gonna cut some thread here and then up my needle and then I'm just gonna come in from the very bottom and come up through one of the stitches and then I'm gonna leave a bit of a tail to sew in later and then I'm just gonna I don't know maybe skip skip a row of stitches I think and then I'm gonna come out the side And then I'm gonna just do this all the way around. I have no idea why it is so hard to pull my needle through the crochet work. I honestly don't. It is so hard to just pull it through with my fingers. I literally have to keep using the pliers. Which is kind of irritating to do so, for do say so myself. Isn't this coming out so cute, guys? Like, look at it. It's so cute. Isn't it just so adorable? I'm excited to see what this will look like with the keychain on. So this is what the strawberry looks like. Oh my gosh, isn't it just so cute? Oh my 
my gosh, I am obsessed. I think I actually need to do one more seed over here. Yeah, I think I need to do just one more little seed. And then I can sew in my tail end. Like, look at how cute this is, guys. I am so obsessed with this series, I tell you, with this spin the wheel series. This is just, these things are just coming out way too cute, guys, honestly. These things are just way, way, way too cute. Okay, so now I'm just gonna snip off that one tail end there and then I'm just gonna weave in this other tail end. Okay guys, time to snip off the last tail end. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at this. Look at how cute this is. Oh my gosh. That is so tiny. Like look at that. It is literally from my nail to my to the knuckle of my thumb. That's literally how big this is. Okay, let me actually zoom out for you guys. Okay, so I'm actually all the way zoomed out and look at how adorable adorable and cute this is. Like look at that. Isn't it just so cute? Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna get my tape measure, my trusty old tape measure. And I'm gonna measure how long this is. Okay, so from the leaves, it's about approximately, it's almost four centimeters. So like probably like 3.8, 3.8 millimeters, I think. I was at three and a half so it's about like three and a half to eight I would say roughly isn't that just so cool and then it's like two and a half centimeters wide how freaking cute is that guys honestly like look at this oh my gosh this is just too adorable like look at how tiny that is look at that look at that little strawberry okay now the last thing that we need to do is add our keychain. So I'm just going to grab my keychain here and my jump ring. I need to get more jump rings. I don't have enough jump rings for the quantity of keychains I have left. Oops. Okay, so I have my little jump ring. So now I'm going to see if I can get this right. So now I am going to insert the jump ring. I don't know if I'll be able to get this into the stitches. So I'm just going to try and maybe hook it in to like the middle of the magic ring. Maybe. Oh. This is going to be challenging. This is really going to be challenging trying to get this. Yeah, there we go. I mean, it's not dead in the center. It should really be dead in the center, shouldn't it be? Or at least close to, I guess. Okay, whatever. As long as we have the keychain on there, I think that's all that matters. So now I'm just going to put that on there. And just close up the jump ring. Okay, there it is, guys. There's the little keychain. Isn't that just so adorable? Like, look at that. Look at that. Look at how cute that is, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
Oh, this is super, super, super cute. I would have, have this on my bag any day. I'm telling you, I'd have this on my bag any day. Wow, this is just too cute. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's just too cute, guys. Too cute. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. Isn't it just so like, cute? Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? You know what? I am going to get out the first two keychains that I did. I can't take this anymore. I'm going to take my first two keychains out that I did. But promise me, promise me, you will go back and watch those. Promise me. Me. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna bring out the first two that I did for size comparison. Okay, so there's my little red hot keychain and then my mountain keychain. Oh my god, look at that! Look at that, isn't that just so cute? The strawberry is my favorite out of the three. Don't you think? I mean, like, look at that. Look at that. It is super cute. Guys. It is so cute. Look at it. Which one's your favorite? Out of the three that we've done so far, what is your favorite? What is your favorite? I'd love to know. The strawberry is definitely mine. The strawberry is definitely mine. Oh my gosh, this is just too cute, guys. It's too cute. Okay, we need to do this outro now. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed learning, or not learning, sorry. I really hope that you guys enjoyed um, seeing me suffer with um, crocheting this, this cute little strawberry keychain. Like, look at it. Oh my gosh, look at this. Isn't this so cute? Like, look at it. It's so tiny. I feel like this is like the perfect keychain accessory, isn't it? You could even you could even wear it as earrings, but I don't know if they're like too big, too big for earrings. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think of these. These would be big enough for earrings. I have no idea. Even a cute necklace that would be great. Don't you think? And look at how adorable this is. Seriously, like look at how cute this is. I literally cannot get over how cute and tiny this is. I would buy this any day. I would have this on my back any day. Seriously, I would. Like, look at it. Okay, anyway, that is it for this episode of the Spinning Wheel series. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed um, watching me suffer um, crocheting this, uh, this cute little strawberry keychain. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed watching me crochet it and I really hope you enjoyed playing along with the spin the wheel game and uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the outcome and again, please don't forget to watch the previous episodes um, you wouldn't want to miss it um, so yeah, it is super super cute I love it, I love it, I love it um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching please like, comment, subscribe and share it really does help out my channel and can you believe it guys we're almost on 2000 subscribers can you believe it oh my gosh Whew, i can't believe we're on like 2000 almost 2000 subscribers now we're like on 1920 subscribers i think at the moment um which i think is, is crazy 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 so again if you haven't if you have been watching my videos and you're not subscribed what are you doing with your life Subscribe to my channel. You wouldn't want to miss a thing. I'm telling you now So much fun and interesting things are happening here on my YouTube channel and I wouldn't want you to miss it um, So yeah, that is it for this video and how do you well not how to crochet this but this is it for this video on um, Episode 3 of the spin the wheel game series um, So yeah, that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like comment subscribe and share yeah, thank you guys for watching and happy crocheting guys. Bye!